Minister, a question for you and then the Chief Medal Officer, if I may. Um, Prime Minister, just two weeks ago in Italy, there were 153 cases of coronavirus and just three deaths. Now, 16 million people have been quarantined. A reflection, if you like, of the public health challenge we are all facing globally. Is there a risk that in trying not to alarm and panic people, you are actually going too slow in taking these measures? And to the Chief Medical Officer, your Scottish counterpart said 4% of the population in Scotland might have to be hospitalised. If you extrapolate that figure across to England, that's over 2 million people. Do you accept that figure? Thank you. Well, I, obviously, uh, you're right, Beth, in the sense that uh, there's, there's no question that this is going to become a significant, a much more significant outbreak than it currently is. That's obvious to, uh, to everyone. But it is vital that we take the steps that we think uh, are necessary at, at the right time and we, and we follow the science. And uh, that's what I think the, the public would expect us to do, to give them the latest uh, information. Now, in the course of this, of this week, uh, obviously, we're going to be looking more at uh, the, the, the detail of the steps that we could take uh, as we ask the public to join us in a, in a national effort to, uh, to delay uh, the, the spread of the, uh, of the virus. But we will be setting out uh, that detail in, in due course. We don't think that this is uh, the right moment. We still think that uh, the best thing we can do is, as I say, to contain uh, the virus. Prime Minister, question for you, and then... Okay, but contain the virus in what, how, in due time, in due course, what are you talking about, Boris? So let me give you a bit of background here, here in Italy. So until yesterday, certain regions, 16 million people were under lockdown, including myself. I'm in one of these uh, areas that's under uh, the red zone where it's every, everything is under lockdown, where in order to travel from one region, one province or one town to the next, if the other town is in a different uh, province, you need a certification from the government, from your local government. You download it from the internet, you uh, print it out and you sign it and um, it stipulates your motivation for leaving your region or your area. If you're stopped by the police, they will check if um, the reason is correct or whatever. Um, and if you're leaving without the certification, you risk jail time. Now, they've said up to three months in jail. Now, uh, just today, just in the evening, uh, there has been a, an announcement from the government that the entire country will be in lockdown. So people will not actually be able to move from town to town um, or from region to region. I, I actually can't give you any more information because I don't know any more information. I've just heard it this evening. Now, Boris Johnson is talking about dealing with this in due course. You need to start dealing with it now. You need to start giving out information to people. Now, I haven't heard anything from Boris Johnson. This is the first news I've heard from Boris Johnson regarding this situation. Um, this is not good. You need to be giving information, giving people a plan, telling them what to do immediately. It doesn't ha you don't have to ring alarm bells, but you have to explain to people, this is what you need to do. This is um, the, the procedures we're putting in place. You could even make someone uh, in charge of it, put someone in charge of it. My fear is that Boris Johnson sees this as a distraction. And unfortunately, I've seen the, the Chancellor talk about how they're not going to stop Brexit for this. Brexit is more important than this virus getting Brexit done or getting a no deal at the end of this year is their priority. This is insanity. At least the government here, I, I disagree with what the government is doing here, but at least they're prioritising. The, the British government seem to be prioritising Brexit. It doesn't matter if people die. It doesn't matter if, if we have to eventually lock down people when we don't have to do it at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> We're, we have to get Brexit done. We have to get Brexit uh, um, completed. That's the priority. I'm not trying to put words in Boris Johnson's mouth, but that's the impression I'm getting. Maybe you can disagree with me on this. 
it's insanity. You know, the what the Italian government is doing is quite draconian. I don't agree with it, but they see it as something necessary. Boris Johnson doesn't seem to think it's necessary. He's, he's given this impression, we'll deal with it later on, but you should be dealing with it now, because later on it will be out of hand. We saw how people were going insane over toilet paper, and that was even before there were really any cases in the UK. We saw in Italy the cases exploded very quickly. In Milan, a large city with a huge population, um, if it hit London in the same way, you would see thousands of cases in a few days. And Boris Johnson doesn't seem to have a plan in, in place. He surrounded himself with incompetent sycophants instead of, uh, you know, not experts, but people who will, will disagree with him, who will tell him, maybe, Boris, this isn't a good idea, this, you should do it in this direction, you should go in this direction, you should go in that direction. But unfortunately, he surrounded himself with a cabinet of yes men and yes women. And I don't think that's a good idea. He needs someone in his cabinet telling him, Boris, you should do this or you should do that. Um, because the alternative is a disaster. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have heard something from Boris Johnson or from the government.